When Barbara Stanwyck made 40 Guns, she was about 50 years old, and she'd been starring in movies for almost 30 years. And she was still a star at the time, but definitely the quality of the roles she was getting and the films she was getting were declining in the mid-50s and late 50s. She would continue appearing in movies for several more years and on television for several more decades. But 40 Guns is really her last great film role. I don't think Fuller set out to make this into a swan song for her, but that's really how it worked out. And he not only gave her this fantastic role, but made a movie that seems like it's a tribute to her and a kind of summation of her screen persona. One thing Fuller gives Stanwyck in this movie is one of the great star entrances of her whole career. The pre-credit sequence is so striking, all the more so in that there's no music. You get this bird's eye shot of this vast, empty landscape, and then the galloping hooves of the horses, and then Stanwyck sweeping down on this white horse, and the dust following behind her. It's such a striking opening. Throughout the movie, Fuller uses CinemaScope to create these extreme contrasts between distance and closeness, which you see in that opening scene. And again, for instance, in the great scene with the dinner table, where you get a close-up of Griff as he enters, and then of Stan Mc seated at the table, and then only when she says, you know, can you pass me that piece of paper, does he go into this long tracking shot of the paper being passed down the table, which is this way of her demonstrating her power and sort of putting everyone else into this very subordinate position. And it's all done through the wonderful use of space and especially this kind of horizontal space that is so suited to CinemaScope. But then he'll also use these very, very tight close-ups. And many people felt that CinemaScope was not well-suited to close-ups, that there's something too extreme about them or sort of off-kilter, but that extremeness and that off-kilter quality really is what Fuller wants and what he uses so well. I tell you, the politicians were flabbergasted when they found out what you were going to do. And throughout the film, he uses this framing to allow Stanwyck, who was really a tiny woman, but she effortlessly dominates her surroundings through the way that he frames her. 